political landscape and doing business in Brazil now is quite different. Tell us a bit about how we got to where we are now. As a historian, I always like this this kind of long-term process. <laughs> so when we are talking about the Brazilian political landscape and specifically about the Brazilian democratic period since 1985, it's important to understand the fact that after the end of the authoritarian regime, the way that the authoritarian regime ended in Brazil was quite different from other countries like Argentina, for example, or Chile. Here, uh, the end of the authoritarian regime was built up by the, a consensus between all the, the political actors. What I mean, the, the military go back to their homes and they gave the opportunity to the civil, civil politicians establish a new kind of, of government. Uh, based on the fact that they just the two two sides just forgot all the mistakes they that they did during the the military process, this kind of general am amnesty who happens in Brazil created the conditions of a new political pact, and this political pact created the our constitution, and specifically about the the Brazilian constitution, the constitution was marked by the huge effort and challenge to to achieve a more equal and free society here in Brazil. Okay. And for this reason, we experienced here a succession of uh, center and center from the left governments. From Fernando Henrique Cardoso to Lula and Dilma, we experienced mm -hmm. that kind of uh, tropical social democracy here. And the failure of this this government, specifically the failure of Dilma's administration to keep the changes and the guarantees in social equality in one hand and to create a good economical environment in the other hand, driving the Brazilian electorate and the Brazilian perception, the Brazilian citizenship perception about the politics, about the necessity to change everything. And specifically about Bolsonaro's victory, I believe he the victory was marked by a sense of orphanage between the, the Brazilian ordinary people who stopped to identify themselves with the traditional leadership represented by the Partido dos Trabalhadores, the Workers' Party here, or parties like PSDB, and they just just decided to give a, a chance for, for new incumbents, and they, they, see, they saw Bolsonaro as a kind of renovation inside a really fragmented and corrupted political system here. Mm -hmm. You mentioned 